The, fo the following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to start the show today with the weekly chart of Apple. Uh, that basically shows the 382 retracement that we had back on the, uh, just a few days ago. Well, it was actually seven days ago. On the 20th of May, we exploded to the upside. Uh, Apple actually has moved more than 10% off the bottom. Uh, this is important, folks, as we've talked here many times over these past few weeks, uh, especially since May 20th when we had all of these APCD patterns that we've seen unfold. I mean, it's just uh, re repetition, but, you know, they say repetition is the mother of knowledge. Uh, we saw them in just about everything, the banking stocks, Apple, Google, Amazon, Tesla, I mean, and just one, uh, J.P. Morgan, just one after another, Goldman Sachs. All of them made major APCDs there, folks. That signifies a major, major cycle. We exploded 10% off the bottom, folks. A 10% move in the Dow Jones Industrial Average, folks. Are you kidding me? That's a big move. You know, if you do 10% in a week, you're going to do 500% in a year. You know, that's going to be almost like the cryptocurrency, boys. Hold on. Oh, don't tell me. Don't give me this stuff out of memory. No, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God, help me now. What? what you know what? <laughs> uh, shucks. All right, let's get back to some of these things here. I, I'm going to give you my best two cents of what I think is happening, folks. That's really uh, what I can do here. Uh, let's get this one up here to take a look at it. Uh, this is the Dow Jones uh, E-mini. The S&P looks pretty much the same. Get this up here so we'll be able to see it here. There it is. This is starting on Sunday night. Remember, we were up strong on Sunday night. We're up about 300 Dow points. Now, that was uh, a pretty big move. And as you can see, what our program was was to look for 382 retracements if that was going to be a significant high. And as you can see, we had two of them since Sunday. So in the last couple of days in the overnight markets, we've had two of them. You can see them there. The same things in the S&P, they were doing the same thing. And of course, we had the, the nice move down. My personal opinion is, is the, the low that we made on the 20th of May is going to be, uh, that is going to be the key thing to look at for the year. In 19... Uh, in 2007, when I first started doing these radio shows, <clears throat> uh, it was August the 15th, and we made a major bottom. And the market went from August 15th up into October 4th, five weeks. And from October into October of that year, uh, that started uh, you know, the big move down, which was the uh, move down into the May, March of 2009. So I would like for you to just circle that day of May 20th. Because if we go below there, that's going to be the equivalent of us breaking the the August 15th stock. That was just a major cycle bottom, folks. That's what it happens to be. So if it breaks that, that tells you that uh, there's trouble in River City. And uh, this market was so oversold coming into this low here on the 20th. But with all of those ABCD patterns that were there, you know, I said, oh, my goodness, I hadn't seen this and uh, this many of them and so many. Uh, what does it mean that I'm out of memory? Get out of here. Uh, I can't be out of memory. It's a brand new computer, for God's sakes. All right, let's get back. I want to send, uh, give you some information here from our good friend, uh, J.C. Parrots of All Star Charts. Let's get this up here to take a look at it. This is the uh, picture of Bitcoin. And I wanted you to point out here, this was the first time since Bitcoin has been trading that it had been down nine weeks in a row. Since 2012, when we first started getting, you know, the players were in there for the past 10 years. But we were down nine weeks in a row. And now you can see what's happened. We went from 28,000 to 32,000 in three trading days. That's, a, that's another huge move. That this, all it's doing is correcting a very, very oversold condition. That's all that's doing. But 
when you see those numbers, you have to sort of respect them because, you know, we live in the uh, we live in the times of uh, what I'm what's happening, folks. Every time I touch my computer, it says out of memory, and that can't happen because it's a brand new computer, and I don't know. So I don't know. I guess I get ready to toss it into the old mailbox. We're going to take a look here now at the FTSE folks. In the land of Boris Johnson, as you can see here, we have this big A, B, C, D, double, triple top. This is a weekly. As you can see here, we've been up here for quite a while. It didn't back off very much. You can see the little pullback that we had, uh, but it didn't do very much. and hasn't gone very much to the upside either. So now let's take a look at the German DAX. I'm going to have to reboot this puppy. I'm afraid that this is not good what I'm seeing here. Boy, oh boy. Uh, all right, here's the German DAX. We'll get up here. we got some pretty colors on this one right here. Hold on a second. By the way, folks, if you have any questions, 877-927-6648. Now you're going to take a look at the German DAX. And as you can see here, we are definitely making a Gartley top in here. You can see the green, uh, the green colored uh, triangles are a three drive to a bottom pattern. You know, multiple ABCDs. You can see the yellow one, which is a butterfly top coming in at the 78% level. So that's the time that we're looking at it. Now, something very, very significant happened here Sunday night, folks, that not many people are paying too much attention to. And uh, here we are paying attention to it. Let me show it to you right here. You've probably heard it already today, but by the time this was happening, you know, this was really a, a pretty, this is an amazing market. This is a bond market, folks. It's our second largest market after notes. But look at this, folks. We gapped down a full point in bonds. Go find a one-point uh, drop in bonds on a gap. That was Sunday night, but there was a big drop. And of course, they've continued to go down. They've broken below 139 already into the 138 level. So this tells us that ABCD pattern at that 382 coming off the high of uh, back in uh, uh, early uh, March, uh, excuse me, yeah, late March on the 28th of March, which was uh, the eclipse, that uh, tells us that that is a major point and we're probably looking at a lot more to the downside, you know, in the market uh, for treasury bonds. But uh, that's what we're watching here today. Now, let me get another one up here. I put the Apple chart up that we wanted to see. And, oh, I wanted to show you one that we've really had on our watch list here. And it's turned out to be a really good one. This is the uh, chart of the I'll – bring, I'll bring some more charts up on this one because I've got them on file. And, uh, boy, I just don't understand what it means out of memory because I think uh, – when we come up to the break, I'm going to uh, – okay, I'm going to reboot – You'll notice here that we have, this is a 15-minute chart here. And basically, I wanted to show you the fact that we went right up to this level right here at 1945. That was the number. Now, folks, this, I've been watching this all night because I've been short all night. And it's broken, believe it or not, it's broken a dollar a barrel three times. And now it's broken a dollar and a half a barrel. So there's been a $4,500 swing in crude oil today, even though it's up considerably. The reason why, we're going to take a break here, 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. inflation where your purchasing power is eroded there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold vista gold's flagship asset is the mount todd gold project in the northern territory of australia this is australia's largest undeveloped gold project we are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district this is a large-scale low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. 
Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I put up the chart of the uh, – hold on one second. I want to get this other one up here so we'd be able to see it real quickly. This is the uh, Dow uh, – are you kidding me? Hold on one second here. I wanted to bring up the chart here of the uh, crude oil, folks. Give me a – when I came back, my mouse needed a battery along with the, the uh, memory thing has been fixed. Evidently, that was just a non-starter. So – Here's the chart that we're looking at here today coming. This was what I thought would be the, the trade of the day. Uh, you'll notice here we had a bunch of numbers. There's your 61% uh, retracement there. Uh, all of these numbers measured between one between 119.45 uh, and 120.50. So we picked that 119.45 as a place to go short. Not only that, folks, but it dropped $1,000 three times overnight. And then went back and went above it uh, on hitting some stops and then just literally gave up the ghost really quick. So that's starting to move uh, in the right direction. Uh, also, those of you that belong to the 24-7 have asked several questions about the gold. Uh, we still think we're looking uh, for the gold market to come down uh, a little bit more. Uh, we'll take a look at the one that we had here. This was going back to Friday's because we watched these so closely. Now, this happens to be the June gold. Uh, we're now trading August, and uh, you'll see that we made a 3.8 true retracement up here. Uh, we, our short was put in up here, and there's a retracement right here. We're looking to this to get down. If it makes the ABCD like we expect, it should get to about 19. Let's try it again, Larry, 18.25. Uh, but you've got to add you've got to add uh, ten dollars to that. So 1835 in the August is what you'd be looking for for a uh, potential uh, to buy it. That's uh, one of the things that we're watching very very closely today. But uh, we had uh, several others that looked really interesting uh, today. We'll get this up here. Uh, oh, I, here let, let let us get back to the stock market. I'll give you my two cents of what I think is happening here. Now, remember, we have incredible swings now. This is not going to stop, folks. You know, we've had a, we've had, we're down 100 handles from where, we're, a little more than 100 handles from where we were Sunday night. There's where we were Sunday night. We made the 382 retracement of the whole move from January, folks. We made that in seven days. 
you got to respect that. I mean, get out of here. I mean, that's a that's a monster move. So what we're watching now is to see if we can find a pattern somewhere between now and the next three or four days where you might get a you know, pullback and then you're going to probably get one more run to the upside. Because when you get charts like we've seen in all of those things that I mentioned plus a whole bunch of that I didn't with the ABCD patterns everywhere – but folks, hey, look, let, let's be realistic. <laughs> you know, I live and die by A, by A B, C, D. Fortunately, I, I do more living than anything else. But anyway, that those A, B, C, Ds don't let you down very much. And when they do, you shake it off, get up, you know, dust yourself off and, you know, wait for the next one. There's always going to be a new bus coming down the road. But we made that 382 retracement on Sunday night with the news that China – had uh, allowed bond bond sales or something like that, and that their PMI was better or worse. I don't know what it was, but it was very, very bullish. And Hong Kong opened up sharply, and uh, the Nikkei opened up sharply, and uh, China opened up sharply, and that just kept pulling us up because we were still moving strong from Friday. But that's where we went. We went right up to the 382 retracement. Now, we almost made the 50% in the uh, Dow Jones, but that didn't do that. The, the, uh, the NASDAQ didn't do very much at all. But we did have that. If you recall, uh, those of you that belong to the uh, letter and those, and I think we talked about this uh, on Friday. Let's get this one up here so we can take a look at it because the Russell – had made a, a beautiful uh, Gartley sell signal here. Let's get this up here. And that was a perfect ABCD. And of course, it sold off quite a bit today. And we'll take a look at this right here. There we go. You can see the ABCD that we made. And look out, you're so far away from the 382 on this. It's, you know, it's not even mean anything. Folks, I've been doing this a long time. I study these charts probably as much as anybody on this planet. I'm almost 100% sure of that. But, uh, that when we go below these lows we may on May 20th, it's time to rethink what you're going to be doing with your money for a while because it, they're going to take this thing to the cleaners. They really are. They're going to they're going to hit it really badly whenever that happens. It might be today, tomorrow, three weeks, four weeks. I'm hoping it's three or four weeks because uh, that would give us a beautiful sell pattern, maybe a little bit higher. Uh, you know, some really nice things that we like to see, like Gartley patterns or a one three five pattern. But that's it. But you know. If you're doing short term like I am with the 15 minute and I showed you what we were looking at with the Dow Jones from Sunday night, those are beautiful 382 retracements, folks. You know, they were right on the money. And the other one, uh, the big news about the the giant shortage in uh, in wheat. <laughs> Come on, folks. Wheat's down 50 cents. Are you kidding me? I mean, something's not right. What the news is telling you and what the market's telling you are two different things. So, you know, trade what you see, not what you think, because uh, it doesn't look too bullish in the wheat market. Maybe this will change by the end of the day, but that's, uh, that's not what we think is going to happen. Now, here was another one that was, we'd set up. Uh, this was a, a really nice one. It's been working pretty good. This happens to be the euro. <clears throat> and the euro, well, you're gonna, <laughs> it's really going to be really neat to see this. But uh, you'll notice here the 382 was right there. Folks, we hit that exact number last night. Uh, yeah, well, actually, let's see, Sunday, Monday. I mean, Monday, yeah, Monday. Uh, we hit it there Monday exactly to the tick at the exact 382, and it's broken 100 pips uh, so far. So that one's hanging in there uh, relatively well, too. So those are just a couple that we're paying uh, attention to. Uh, 877-927-6648. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them for you. Otherwise, we'll continue to look at some of these other ABCD patterns that we've been watching. And uh, here was one that uh, we thought was going to be very powerful. I haven't updated it as of yet. It, it goes in the same theme of the crude oil market because we were thinking these were making some type of a, a topping pattern. And that you can see. You have the left shoulder, the head, and the right shoulder. They're actually equal. So we're expecting the market to be up a little bit, which we were. I haven't updated it this morning because I do crude oil. I don't do uh, heating oil. And uh, so that's what we were watching here for to see this a little bit higher uh, coming in Sunday night or Monday or Tuesday. I, I really haven't checked it. What I will do when the break comes Oh, dear. I will check it, and we will uh, get that moving here. Forgot to get my water for the 
uh, for the desk here today, so I'll get that when we come up with the next break. So if you do have any questions, uh, Al said don't even bother right now. He said it's just – he said the lights on the boards are lit up like you can't believe. He says it's Christmas Day there in St. Petersburg, Florida today. Oh, Al said one line just opened up, and oh, no, he said somebody picked it up, but the line was busy, so we'll try it again. Okay, now let's take a look here. I wanted to show you the NASDAQ because – this is another one of these. All of these ABCD folks, I mean, these this means something. When all of these things do the same thing, that's telling you something big time. And that's what we're looking at here. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. .com. Tom O'Brien has just announced a live Timing the Trade webinar Friday, June 10th from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Join Tom O'Brien for five hours of live education as he teaches you his trading methodology right from his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. In this live webinar, Tom O'Brien will be teaching you his entire trading system, including quality volume, ABC structures, Fibonacci confluence zones, cause and effect, swing points, and more. We will be limiting this class to 40 attendees, so please do not delay and reserve your seat today for this special live event with Tom O'Brien. All attendees will also receive a physical copy of his book, The Art of Timing the Trade, an $88 value, mailed to you, along with a free month of his daily newsletter, Market Insights, a $169 value. For all the details and to reserve your seat today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I get the picture of uh, Tom's book here. I keep it on my desk here, Timing the Trade. And I think you'll enjoy his uh, one-day seminar that he's going to be giving when you get a master like him up there. But I don't know why the book doesn't show very well. I, I don't know. Well, I, you know why? It's because I'm using the background from the thing I don't uh, – from the service. So I, I don't know. I, I do one thing after another. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's talk here just a little bit about the U.S. dollar index. I posted that up. Yeah, I know it's it's the virtual background that screwed up, but I do keep that on my desk. It's one of the few books. Well, I got about 12 books up here. The Experts Speak, Technical Analysis of the Markets by Murphy, uh, Private Thoughts of a Trader uh, by me, Geometry of Markets, Super Traders Almanac, 
uh, profits uh, in the stock market by Hearst. Oh, my goodness, I got a whole bunch of them in there that I don't. Artificial intelligence. Wow, there's about, well, I got those. Those are all leather bound. And then I also have the book by uh, uh, Andrew Lowe is also up here, The Evolution of Technical Analysis of the Stock Market and also Chaotic uh, Markets are <laughs> non-random walk down Wall Street. And then I have, of course, the Bible is the Burton Malkiel's book on uh, fractals. Anyway, that's what we're paying attention to here this morning. So let's, uh, I hope, uh, it, I hope it can see it. it. Can you, well, we'll just move on to the next one here. I just wanted to show you that this is the dollar index because we were looking at the, remember the dollar index is the reverse of the euro. When the dollar goes up, the euro goes down. And as you can see here, the 382 retracement here, we were expecting it to hit. It hit on Sunday night, uh, actually hit it twice, Sunday and Monday, right at the 382. Didn't go any below it. And then, of course, it's had a very strong rally uh, over the past several hours. We've broken up more than 100 points uh, in the euro. So that's holding up uh, relatively well uh, also. But we're going to see some great, great volatility in here, folks. I don't think there's any any question about it. So uh, that's neither. I had a question about silver. I'm very bullish long term silver and gold folks. Uh, and I you know, you, you cannot be bullish, not be bullish these and the reason why is we've got inflation is is going to be here to stay. You know, <laughs> if we're going to have green, uh, green energy, instead of uh, fossil fuels, uh, believe me, somebody's gonna have to be paying the bill for this. What the question is, are we going to be able to break another dollar? To get down to this level, this would be, if we could get this to in silver and gold to get down about a buck, about a buck lower in silver and about a uh, hundred dollars in gold, down around seventeen, seventeen, seventeen fifty, something like that in the August gold. Boy, I thought that I thought that'll be such a beautiful ABCD pattern that we have to really, uh, you know, really take advantage of that. So uh, th those are just a few things that I'm watching. Uh, regarding the notes and bonds, folks, I mean, give me a break. <laughs> These things are so bearish. Take a look here at the Treasury bond market. I've already showed you the big gap down that it had, but here's where we were Sunday before the markets opened. You can see we were trading up in here. We gapped way down here. Uh, we've been down more than two full points in bonds. And do you realize hard it, how hard it is to get bonds down two points? That takes a lot of selling. So, you know, this is, uh, we're not out of the woods, but uh, there's going to be incredible volatility here that we've already seen. So let's, uh, you know, follow what, uh, trade what you see, not what you think. And as I love David White's uh, motto is sell when you want to and not when you have to. And that's a major thing uh, to be uh, looking at. But we do have higher, higher interest rates are coming. How they affect the market for other things like real estate and stuff, I don't know. I had a, I had a guy uh, show up here uh, Sunday because we have a beautiful American flag over the house here. And uh, he commented about the flag, and he said, I'd like to buy your house. And I said, it's not for sale. <laughs> and he said, I'll pay you, you know, X number of dollars, which was more than I thought. Uh, so I said, nope, still not for sale. But uh, anyway, it's, uh, it's crazy what's going on in these different parts of the world for sure. Hong Kong is still the most expensive city in the world. A little uh, one-car garage, I mean a garage, nothing else. Like a, to, to, if you have a really nice car and you want to put your car in a garage, it's fifty thousand dollars to buy that garage, and uh, that's that's a pretty steep. Uh, and if you want to rent it, I think it's fifteen hundred dollars a month if you if you want to rent it, just to park your car. Hello, operator, give me a break. That's a pretty steep uh, thing to hit. But uh, okay, let's move on here to cover a few other things that I've already covered. Uh, oh, I wanted to do this one on the FTSE because this is a four-hour chart. And those of you that like ABCDs, and this is already starting to work, as you can imagine, uh, you'll be able to see it right here. There's a beautiful ABCD, just perfectly measured there. Look at them on the way down, folks. A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. Made a lot of friends over in the UK this time because they started to see ABCD patterns, and they say, well, when will it stop? Well, I can tell you this, folks. I started looking at these a long time ago, and by golly, they don't ever stop. And you can go back in history and look, and you, they don't ever stop. This is what Mandelbrot taught, folks. Mandelbrot said it's a lightning bolt. 
That's your seed pattern. The seed pattern is a lightning bolt or the ABCD pattern, if you want to call it like Gartley called it. But anyway, uh, you can call it a 135 like the Elliott people call it, whatever you want to call it. It's there everywhere on all different time frames. All you've got to do is to figure out which one you want to trade and what your risk is going to be. Now, I am going to post something uh, in the room uh, at the next break that our good friend Mr. Z – from uh, Switzerland, uh, no, not Switzerland, Philadelphia, uh, sent us about uh, Paul Tudor Jones. I was fortunate enough to meet him when he was just a young whippersnapper getting started down there in Memphis, Tennessee. My best friend, as many of you know, was Jay Cross, who worked at Commodity Corporation those years. And he was a good old Memphis boy, went to University of Mississippi, and was roomed with Trent Lott. Of speaker of the house and he went on to USC to get a master's degree in computer science in 1964 and went to work in Commodity Corporation in 1965 and was there with them until 1972 when he went out uh, on his own to uh, to be trading but that's uh, some of the things that we uh, have talked about uh, in the past I don't want to bring them up again but these, these markets they don't change folks I've looked at you know, any any historical stuff I have looked at, I've looked at bubbles and stuff like that. And, you know, hey, I'm wrong a lot. Gee whiz. I mean, if you stop and think how many times I've been wrong. You won't have enough time to, to talk about anything else on the show. But there's times when you you get things right, and that's what you're looking for, is to stick the things that you get through right. Now, the reason why I'm going to be posting this thing from Mr. Z, it's about Paul Tudor Jones, and it's all about risk. My favorite Paul Tudor Jones story, uh, and i well, anyway, he was interviewed by the Wall Street Journal in 1987, right after the crash. And they and and the thing was, they were talking to him. He said, "How does it feel to be Paul Tudor Jones that picked the absolute bottom in the bond market before it rallied 20 points?" And Paul Tudor Jones said to the reporter, "He said, well, he said that's only partly right. It should read." How accurate it must be to be Paul Tudor Jones to be able to pick the exact bottom in the Treasury bond market before they rallied 20 points after being wrong the previous six times. And it was a true story. He tried it six times before he finally got it right. But his losses were so small, when the profits came, they just multiplied and multiplied and multiplied. There's going to be a link coming in here. I hope I have it. I had it a little while ago, but you know me. Hey, we're going to take a break. 877-927-6648. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I've got the computer fixed now, Billy. Thank you for asking, though. I appreciate it. Uh, folks, we got a sell-off going here in the grain markets, and uh, we've been waiting for this sell-off, and I think we're, we want to be ready to uh, be a buyer here pretty soon. It'll probably be this week would be my guess. Let's get this one up here. I want to bring it to your attention right now. This is the one. This is Christmas corn. This is December corn. It is, uh, I haven't issued a buy or anything. I'm just getting ready for it. The reason why I mentioned it while we were off the break, the uh, my, alert, my, my alert went off and for July corn, but I want to be buying the December corn. You notice we've been in this really tight trading range here now for several weeks. And so we need to cl clean out all these guys that bought it there, scare the, you know, the Brajibis out of them. And then we want to be look to be a buyer. This is one of the strongest seasonals, folks, that you can get for soybeans and corn to be making low here around this time, March 31st. I've told this story before. Uh, 1983, I had an order in, and uh, there was a report that day. And by golly, the market went through my order by three and a half cents. And I didn't get filled. I thought I was automatically filled. But remember, back in those days, they had these tr these trading cards that I've shown you many times before. And uh, you had to turn those in. Well, now everything is electronic. I mean, it goes through. It's automatic. But, you know, we, you didn't, we didn't have that back in the old days. So by the time I figured out that I didn't have a position, you know, it was already limited up. And so I had to chase it, which good that I chased it because uh, it uh, made you know quite a few bucks. But by golly, that's neither that's neither here nor there. You don't like to see that, but we're seeing it in a lot of different things. And one of the ones that's in the news all the time is the wheat market because of the uh, you know supposedly they have all this wheat that is staying there in uh, I forget what they call the place uh, Odessa. And let's get this up here because we're breaking down now really good. And this is what we want to see. We want to see get prices lower. And we're right over a, a lunar cycle here, too, uh, with the new moon, I believe, is coming in right now. And you'll notice that we want to get it down just a little bit lower, down by that 0.5 there. And we're down 50 cents today, folks. I mean, we, we were trading at uh, 11.57. I think we hit 11.01 a little while ago. So I, I don't know exactly where that low was, but it was you know quite a bit lower you know, than uh, where it is right now. But uh, that's neither here nor this. See where we are trading here. Uh, yeah, we're at 1095, believe it or not. Shut the front door and raise the rent. My goodness, that's a beauty. And look at the old crude oil making new lows. That's good. Okay, now let's get on to the next one here that I want to talk about uh, also is uh, the soybeans because this is the one, uh, this is November soybeans. It's been acting the most bullish. This is new crop soybeans now. You can see they were still strong on Friday. They're giving up a little bit of the ghost today. We were thinking we could possibly get up here for another, but we're starting to back off. This will probably be a double top, but we got to watch for a bottom here the next few days. That's the that To me, that's going to be very important. I'll be doing a special uh, videos for our 24-7 folks 
uh, over the weekend or next next day or two to get ready for it. So we'll be watching that uh, very closely. Someone asked, uh, what positions do we have on right now? We are short uh, the S&P or the Dow, whichever you wanted to do, at the 382 numbers that we talked about earlier. We wanted to short the euro, which was right on the 382. That's working. Shorting crude oil at 1945. And that's working. And uh, the bonds being short, that's working. And the gold being short, uh, 1865 uh, uh, in the gold. But that was in the June gold. Uh, and we're rolling that over into August. So those are the ones that we're watching here today. But with our eye on buys here, we want to see this stuff. They're really hitting the wheat really hard. And when you stop and think it was trading at $13, just a few just about six or seven days ago the end of the world was coming and wow they found the end of the world at the end of town so it didn't happen the way you think it that's why you trade what you see not what you think that's the main thing that you want to be doing that's very very important now the reason why i'm bringing all this up is because of the limit minder that just went off i want to get this up here show you this is my july corn now july corn is the corn that's been you know it's in the bin they're waiting to resell that uh, the other stuff is being it's uh, in the field now growing so what we've done now is we've taken out this low right here you see we had this little tiny rally yep you want to guess what it was you betcha 382 of that high right there and now we've kicked that out so it means we're going to be getting down into this level about another 25 or 30 cents so that's what we're doing these patterns are good for predicting what the market should do and when it does it Get the heck out of the way. You don't need to. It's not worth it. So I hope these are things that you can use in your trading, but I think these grains are going to be in a buying zone here pretty soon, and I think it'll be, uh, you know, be pretty exciting. And, okay, let's move on here to another one that I wanted to uh, talk about. I talked about the heating oil. Here we go is the copper. Copper has held up incredibly well given all this stuff, folks. I know it's down a bit today, but you'll see here. Uh, this is what we've had here in copper. We had the 382 retracement that came in right here. And then we had a nice little ABCD up here. I thought we were going to get up to this level, but the trading gods didn't oblige. And so we're starting to move lower. This was indeed a 135 pattern. We talked about that on this show before. That is a 135 pattern. But once we get below that, uh oh, then you're looking at a larger ABCD that's going to take us down, uh, you know, a whole lot or, uh, uh, lower is the number that I'm trying to think of. OK. All right. The other one that's interesting, folks, is the price of cattle. I don't know about you folks, but the price of beef here in Tucson has really taken a turn to the downside. I bought. Uh, two prime uh, ribeyes. Uh, my buddy, Nikki, who lives here in town. Uh, he's a professional gambler and uh, I had him over for, for dinner uh, on Sunday and uh, we had a couple of prime steaks and I couldn't believe I I went to the butcher and I was expecting to pay about 25 bucks a piece and he said I'll give you two for 25 and I said why? He says I can't sell what I got and I says what do you mean? He said people won't pay the prices and so well and end up getting a great steak for 12 bucks. You go to that to, to a restaurant, it's going to cost you 65 or 70 Of course, they're going to prepare it for you. So that's neither here nor there. Okay. All right. Let's move on here. Someone asked another question uh, about uh, sugar. All right. Let's get this up here. There's sugar. It has been in a pretty good market here. Been in a big trading range here in sugar for a very, very long time. And uh, we're at a pretty high level. We should hold these levels that we're at right now. Because that was a 382 retracement. Anything below that low right here would really tell us that, uh oh, this thing is probably getting ready, you know, to go south instead of north. Now, that is not a head and shoulders pattern here, folks. You see this pattern? Left shoulder, head, right shoulder, two things. A, the right shoulder, you see this right shoulder higher than the left shoulder? That automatically negates. A head and shoulders pattern using the formula in Andrew Lowe's book, The Non Random Walk Down Wall Street. It has to be lower than the right shoulder, equal or lower than the left shoulder. And the distance between the head and the shoulder should be relatively equal. This, is, this fits the equality part, but it's not a head and shoulders pattern. You have to call it, ah, we'll call it the Wombat 3. Anyway, let's take a break. 877 927 6648.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Okay, folks, I've been asked to talk about this pattern that we were looking at we're comparing 1987 to this year. Uh, basically, there was the high October of 87. 17 days later, you came down into that. This was the aspect we were looking at that came in on May the 5th. You had 17 days of that. It took you to the 22nd. The market bottomed that Friday on the 20th, of course. And then we've had this uh, really strong rally. There was no crash. Uh, but, you know, the market did go down considerably, making an ABCD pattern. Now, the question the person asked, when will I see another, you know, sequence of events? Well, I'm always searching for these folks. That's why I have folks like Shane Smolian, Tim Boss, uh, and uh, 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 Norm Winsky on, the, on, the, uh, on the, the collar here to give us some ideas of when these dates come up. So I'm watching when these come up, and then I try to search the memory bank, say, well, what was the last time this happened? Well, with Alfie Lavoie software, you can test these things. And that's what Shane Smolian does so well. He does back testing on these to see which ones, you know, give an idea of whether these things are going to work or not. But again, you get down to these patterns are there for one reason only, and that's for risk control. Try to listen to that uh, thing that I sent you the uh, on Paul Tudor Jones, folks. It's 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 all about risk. He's got a you can see the uh, it says losers average losses, and boy you can't do that. Remember his main thing is is try not to lose. Just like Warren Buffett, two major rules: don't lose money is rule number one. Rule number two is don't break rule number one. Well, you've got to trade. So you've got to control your risk, which is the only thing you can control. You don't know what's going to happen next, even when you think you do. 
And, you know, that's when you're the most dangerous is when you think about something that uh, it may or may not be true, yet you believe it, you know. And so you got to be able to change courses in the middle of the stream if that's, uh, if that's the case. So let's remind ourselves. Now, tomorrow uh, I'll be back. and uh, No guests this week. I might have one uh, popping up, but I haven't heard back from him yet. So we'll give you some other information about the foreign exchange markets. And hopefully I'll get some of these things done about the grain markets by the end of this week, and maybe we can have some ideas. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Mm -hmm.